Alright, welcome back to another episode of Add on RPG. I'm just gonna try to continue with my quest line. Let's see. I wanna t let's hide this. This is done, this is done, this is done. I need to find out the yeah, like, we want to probably do some leveling up still because I'm weak, right? So let's see, does he does this guy sell anything? No. I think yeah, we we are done here. So let's get going. Try to find some encounters, fight some random things until we are strong enough to fight the wolves. I might be able to take the wolves, but uh, I feel like I'm still too weak. Let me think. Oh yeah, the bunker. So the bunker, I tried that the other day and there was three guys and I died fast. Um, so I don't know, I don't think I can handle the bunker. Um, I think it's even harder. So What's our quest say? We need to go to this one forest, right? So let's just travel around. It's way down here. Um, let me look at my health first. Health-wise, I'm fine. Weight-wise, I'm great. So, okay, let's proceed. I really want to get this companion over here. There's a somebody in the red, uh, the red fighter. Let's try to fight these guys. So might or might not be tough. I am getting stronger. Oh, but CV took 16. I got 16 HP damage. That's not good. Oh, this is probably not a good encounter. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them. Yeah. This list, this does not look good. And I just wasted AP. Fucking hell. Of course it jammed. I unfortunately will not survive that. I will not survive that encounter. So... No worries. It's just... Yeah, there's way too many of them, and... So let's get... Let's change our weapon. I think... I would like to get a new weapon, but... Uh... Ambushed by members of some murderous cult. Well, 
I'm gonna try. I really I need to win some fights. So it's right. I need to win some fights. chance oh that's a very good 54 percent yeah I think I'm sure I can take these guys out I don't know how many more there are but just I'm, I'm very sure pretty sure There we go. Yeah, my aim is getting better. My puppy is getting stronger. No chance. Hey, what's up? Sorry, I'm on late and a little later than I thought. And uh, it's, this is not, as you can tell, a podcast <laughs> right now. But, but uh, I woke up just recently. Let's see if I can hit him. Nope. How's, how's your morning? Or no, actually it's night for you. How is your evening going? not long ago oh yeah same here so there we go got him yeah I totally understand last night I was uh, I was trying to get um, case and a adapter for my phone look at that that's good stuff good stuff so I spent like I was up till 5 a.m. <laughs> so I, I was dead. Darn, plus one damage threshold, plus six percent. Fidel got new armor. Yeah, yeah, I'm, and I got a weighted glove. I think, uh, wow, that's actually strong. 5 to 11 damage. These guys got a lot of good stuff on them. So the like we we need to we need to keep fighting. We need to fight a lot. Ooh, I have even more armor. Damn. My armor is just really good now. Um huh. one second. don't know yeah so I think I'm gonna just go to this one forest 
Let's see, I think I checked everybody. And... Oh yeah, you're right. I'm gonna have to do that. Should I get him this armor? It says minus dodge, and then this armor... Minus four. Let's see, let's, let me see how they compare. 5 to 11, 5 to 14. Oh, this, actually, the knife is better. 5 to 15? How come it's. Maybe because he, he is holding it. Okay, so we got 8% damage resistance, and this is 6% damage resistance. 4, minus 4, minus 10. I think. Mm, this one. I think because I want him to be strong. I'm not strong, but he can be really strong. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, let's get out of here. Good, we won. The, the, the other encounter, I don't know if you saw it, um, as like a minute ago, it was really like seven against us, seven people, and there's no way I'm, I'm gonna fight all of, all of them. Um, weak, weak, okay, we need to, we need to definitely make camp. Um, you got any plans for the day? Dima? Okay, Fidel, Fidel, Fidel. let's make... Roast some meat. Fidel healed only 14. Mm, okay. Well, I missed it. 38, 72. I'll wait until they get more hungry to eat because it's then it helps everybody. Um, nope, no plans. Cool, 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 it's okay. I might go to the park today, like, uh, actually, um, I think, no, we're gonna go to the beach, but we're not, like, we, we're just gonna visit, like, walk around. I don't plan on swimming today. In order to any way, Strahler walks toward you. Yeah, let's meet this guy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to check out the beach. Um... There might be a podcast because I woke up late. I didn't have a chance to talk to the to the other people that are in it, and so I don't know when they're available. Um, that's the, that's why I'm streaming at some RPG because I w I wanted to stream something because I I said I'll be on at 1 or 12 and, and it's late um, but so there might be a there might be one where is this guy oh there he is there's a cow I don't know you see a dirty stinking kid in a protective face mask he plays with a washer and whispers also on business okay what's your name Ivan the Claw what's your job Fighting, not fight on the ring. I'm telling you, this job is quite something. Nothing more to say. Where are you headed? Fogelivka. Okay. Heard something interesting. So, see here, uh, people see that Kalkin Gold, there's now Guild of Power Lifters. Locals feel more protected while the young people have a place to spend time in. That's how it is. Okay, let's see what he's got. Uh, it's kind of expensive, and he doesn't have anything I want. Except the salted fish might be good, because... Uh, it's... How much do I have? Like, seriously, where's my food? I still haven't looked up... Okay, I have a lot. I have a good amount. I even have one salted fish. How much... How much... Uh, yeah, why not? Let's buy it. I don't want to starve. 
Although I don't think I will, but... Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. So... Yeah, they, the guys said they want to do the podcast today. Not a set time. This is not a set time. Let me let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah, they didn't respond yet, so they're busy. But looking forward to it. Uh, meet the caravanners. More caravan. I don't want to waste all my money, but let's continue. I forgot, how do you get into Krasnos Namine? Do you have to pay them to get in? Like, I think you're curious. Um, uh, well, I'm really curious to what you will say in the podcast. Yeah, um, we discuss current events, um, but I don't know if that's a good thing. Because <laughs> people are, you know, people um, get very uh, sensitive. Ooh, gunpowder, yes. 94, it's kind of high, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, yes, we need more logs. Logs are good. This is good. This is good. Um, magnifying glass. Oh, plus tinkering. That's only plus three. It's still good. It's only 13 rubles. Yeah, that's great. I can use that. Um, you have to get, you have to pay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I remember. I just don't remember how much, which is okay. I'll buy that. I think I don't need anything else he's got. Do I have any junk? Yes, but I don't want to sell this to him. Technically, how it goes, I don't, um, I sell junk stuff to people that I have a good relationship with. It's always a good thing to share opinion. It's only a way, in my honest opinion, to get a global happiness. Yeah, it's hard though because people get like cancelled. You know what I'm talking about. People get um, fired from their job or if they say something that pe other people don't like. I, tr I try not to do this, but it's an interesting topic, so that's what we talk about. <sighs> mm, I don't... You see it, another caravan. So many caravans. That's great. Um, Yurinoko says, because then you are enforcing your views to others, even if you have a good intentions, it's actually worse. 1917 Russia showed the example. What happened in 1917? Oh, there he is. You see a small man? Yes, yes, yes. Barter. I have a lot of stuff, like a lot. So I need to start. Um, I need to start maybe crafting something, but don't know what. Oh, actually. I do have to go to the main trader. You're right. Oh, the communist revolution. Um, yeah, that 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 would be a really interesting topic. Actually, I would love to talk about that sometime. That's one of my. I I don't know anything about, and I'm from Russia, right? So like, for me to 
not know about the communist revolution is crazy. But I was little when I left, and I didn't have time to... I shouldn't say I didn't have time. I had a lot of time to learn about it, but I never did. So I'm interested to learn. Uh, da -da, pre war cognac, herbal mix. Okay, we're good here. Let's get out of here. Okay, I think I've spent way too much money. I have only 300 rubles were left, and if I go to Krasnos Namine, I would have to spend more money just to get in. So. I kind of want to go there because it's um, because it's very important to get in to do the next quest line. But I also want to get stronger. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know okay, exactly what to do. We're gonna go down there though. That's that's our goal. You're not a you're not a historian, so I so. Yeah, I will research it. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> I tried to escape by accident, but I didn't make it. I failed, which is great anyway, because I need to fight. Um, yeah, I um, I watch a lot of videos about different topics. Okay, so let's kick, let's fight these guys. Men Menshevik and Bolshevik. I heard the. I know the terms a little. Like I don't know what they mean, but oh, nice! I killed it on the first shot. We're actually we're gonna save ammo for these guys, and so there was a there was even a way to become a democratic republic. Yeah, well, they should have done that. <laughs> to be honest, they should have done that. But all I know is a lot of people died. Hmm, I missed. How sad. So... Trudeviks, Mensheviks, and Bolsheviks. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there's more. Great. This is really, really, really good. Very good. Okay. And these these guys are easy to fight. Okay. There's more. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, I missed. It's okay. I want to maybe improve my melee just because I don't have a debuff on it and and my... <sighs> it's kind of hard because obviously you want to conserve your points, but it's basically I have to improve my... my um, pistol. Even though I get a debuff every time somebody joins. And I did not really think about that. Okay. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Mensheviks was more or less for constitutional monarchy. Trudeviks was kind of a, for democratic republic. And Bolsheviks was, well, Bolsheviks. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that's... I didn't even know about the, the other two. I only knew about the Bolsheviks. Because I guess because they won, and I don't study history that well. That's yeah. Oh, you took damage from poison. Get the hell out of here. What poison? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's walk a little bit more. Save and attack. Yeah, sweet. I love fighting these little bees and rodents because they're so easy. Even though I got killed by a bunch of them, they just swarmed me the other time. That's That was just not usual. But... Mm, 
but generally speaking they're really easy unless unless you, you get like 10 of them on top of you which of course Yeah, miss. That's okay. We have five, six, seven enemies. I think we can be all right. We'll be all right here, as long as, as long as my guys step in front of me. That's the pipe. That's the idea. Let's go. Nice. Oh, he missed. That's okay. Oh, come on. What did I do that for? I accidentally clicked. Um, other parties actually helped to establish a ways for a revolution because Trudovics was responsible for forming Soviets like a collective go governing organ, and Bolsheviks was minority in it. Mm. See, I don't know. Like, I'm gonna have to actually study that sometime, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yes, named. And a miss. And a miss. It's okay. Oh, they betrayed everybody. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Um, wasn't the Bolsheviks a communist? Like, or were there other communists, other communists in other parties? Nice. Oh, wow, I missed. They were anarchist and communist, wow. Yeah, so. I think we'll still be okay, there's not that many here. two are right here. Okay, let's uh, stab. Miss. It's okay. We'll get them. That's a lot of meat and a lot, like a few glands, and then I can, I can have a lot of uh, fish. Fish. It's something. It is something. That's for sure. This game, this game is cool. I, I actually, I'm okay that I don't have the personal personality high enough. Unfor it's unfortunate, but I'm not gonna restart for that. It's makes no sense, you know. It's like a waste of time. Uh, I feel like there's two on top of each other here. I can't tell. Um, 
yeah so that's that's the kind of thing that we would we would kind of discuss in the in the podcast not maybe not history because but but i'm interested in history uh the historical side of uh communism is very very interesting to me at least but that's because i'm russian i guess Let's see. Where are we? I just I didn't even read. I, oh, this is the forest, I think. It sounds like it. Roaring forest. Yeah. Okay. This is gonna be interesting for uh, to know to find out what's going on. Like our mission is to figure out why they call it the Roaring Forest. There's a... Ooh, can I hunt this guy? Yes! Come here, bitch. Too far. Oh my god. Stop running. Come here. Okay, this is... Did I shoot him? Yeah, let's get him. Like, if this was a real hunting game, he would be far away. Oh, he... Damn it. Come on, bro. We got you. We got you. I'm faster than a, than a moose or a deer. Aim. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Fidel got a new level 17. Oh, nice. Battle ends, your party gains experience. Very good. That's awesome. Very cool. I got, I got a new level. He's hungry, of course. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, you said pistols, pistols or rifles for him? I think rifles, but... Mm. Yeah, for sure, you're right. Definitely need to know our past. Rifles. And lockpicking. How much lockpicking do I have? Lockpicking is bad. Lockpicking is... I think that's good. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, let me see his stats. He's got two points, that's not enough. That's okay. Let's continue into the forest. Oh yeah, more stuff to kill. Sweet. Where's my guys? Oh, they're so far behind. So I gotta back up. Nice, got one. I think I got both of them. It's hard to distinguish. There we go. Yeah, okay. They just combine them. It looks like they just combine them and 
one pile. Ah, if there's two body. Oh, yeah. That's what I just figured out. <laughs> Oh, it's like zero damage. Good. Okay. Oh, whoa. There's a deer over there on wolves. Oh, that's going to be hard. I'm not sure. I want to fight the... Yeah, wolves are no joke. fishing to do later. <laughs> a lot. Okay, I don't like this at all. There's a lot of wolves here. I'm kind of surprised they don't have fog of war on this kind of map, you know what I mean? Like like, I know where everything is for some reason. Let's go over here. Uh, this way we have... Something. I don't know what that is. But we can climb it if we have our rope. I'm gonna go in here. Definitely. I am hungry. Totem. Uh, roast some meat. Cook back. We all healed a little bit. Great. I don't need to worry about food. Let's talk to these guys. A totem. A totem. A woman of around 60 years old is standing in front of you. She's dressed in a woolen skirt, a shirt, knitted vest, and thick rubber boots. The woman is a bit overweight, but she looks more robust than fat. Her, great, her gaze is kind and friendly as she notices you. She immediately turns toward you and waves amicably. You'll see a small stone circle. Okay. Hello, youth. Are you studying the history of your homeland with the help of living fossils like me and my old man? Come here. Don't be shy. Come closer. Or else in the forest, if the forest roars, you won't be able to hear anything you want to tell me. We've got the roaring forest here, you know. That's what they call it, and for a good reason, too. I'm kidding about the roar, of course. It's not loud enough here to drown a voice, but it can interrupt a conversation occasionally. Or the earth tremors can be so strong that you can barely stand on your feet. Uh, hello, mother? Well, yes, you see, I'm having a walk. I thought I'd come to talk to you. Why is he calling her mother? Okay, the woman looks at you with obvious happiness. Mother, that was unexpected, and they say Kamsal Mole members have died out. Kamsal Mole, I don't know what that is. There are, there, uh, there are still guys who can show us respect, the disappearing generation. What a surprise. Don't talk to me, son. Do talk to me, son. I can't read well. Till the break of dawn, what do you want to talk about? Our customs, maybe our life, or this wondrous place? Matushka. Ah. Yeah, I, can, I can't remember what that means exactly, but... So it's like a sign of respect. Um... Babushka. Yeah, yeah, that's grandma. Uh, I'd like to ask you questions. The woman nods and gives you a friendly smile. Of course, dear, do you ask what do you have on your mind? 
what is your name? The old woman smiles, revealing her well-preserved teeth. Whatever you want, my mom or Mrs. And if you want to call me by my name, then it's Vlad Vladlena Karp Karp Karpovna. And how should I address you? I know many people nowadays have surprised surprising names. The one that back in the days they only used to call dogs nicknames and code names. I wonder what's yours. It's simple. My name is Basili. Though the woman nods with a smile. Nice to meet you, Basili. Glad to make your acquaintance. Likewise. Um, the old woman grunts with a wave of her hand. Shows you the scenery around. Vladimir uh, Lenin. <laughs> Running things all around here. There. I've got a berry patch here. I've got trees that once every couple of years figure out how to bear fruits against a lot. There's a mushroom glade not far from here too. A spring of for laundry and for water. I'm running things here so that the old man doesn't get covered in bark. The old stump that he is, bless him. The marsh, the or I should say, the harsh mundanity. May I ask you something else? How is it living in such an unusual place? Your your interlocutrice throws her hands up with laughter. It's bearable, you know. This forest is the most unusual place in the whole area. People make up legends and various theories about it, but I guess it's only it only seems scary from the outside. And if you're living right in the center of it, it doesn't seem all that unusual anymore. Nobody bothers or pesters us here, really. We're living a calm life in our sunset years here we may even manage to die before one of the popular prophecies is fulfilled they are just horrendous for example they say that we hear the so the hum because the soviet government dug a mine here and they reached hell now the demons can't wait for the right moment to get out of to the surface and pierce everyone with their forks and staves how intriguing uh let's do you have any interesting stories or gossip the old woman shares her Shakes her hand, head embarrassingly, as if apologizing to you. News spread like wildfire, but not here. How can news get here if most people are afraid to even show their faces in the forest? I only get news in my dreams. Dreams must be the most interesting thing we get to see in my old man's and mine calm life here. Although I actually took interest in dreams even before the war. I would even write them down. For example, this is what I saw in the 86 a cowshed at a collective farm with five rows of, st of stalls, ten each. In every stall there is a fat cow. Suddenly the clock tower in the mountain strikes midnight and a thin, thick and sick cow enters each stall. It kills and devours the fat one and takes its place. The bombs fell only a few days after this gym. I don't know. That's interesting. Recently I dreamt about a cow again, a big fat one with a swollen and tight udder. The cow is sitting in a mud stall and nobody milks it. It saves all the milk for its calves. And in that dream I'm asking someone, where are the calves of this cow? And this someone I'm sort of talking to screams at me, no, don't. If you look at the calves, you'll fear, fear the night. But I'm a disobedient fool because I, st I still turn around and, th and through the roots and the modern walls of the cave I can st I can see the calves hurrying to suck their mom's udder, thousands of disgusting blind creatures pr crawling on their pink bellies, pushing, squealing, fighting each other to the death, uh, spilling the slippery filthiness that they've got for blood, thousands of legs crooked abnormal, hundreds of jaws filled with sharp teeth, calling their mother with a groan, a howl, a thin monotonous whine of accursed flutes. I screamed so much that night that my old man thought I was going to kick the bucket. I thought so too, but I was lucky. The story is making me feel uneasy. I'd better ask you another question. I think that's it. Um, why do they call this forest roaring? The women shrugs. They call, they're call. they calling our forest for a reason. Uh, tell me, dear, can you, can't you feel yourself? Or maybe you feel your feet are wooden, like those of a dummy, although I think... Even someone with prosthetic legs could feel it. The ground, that's the thing. It's shaking like mad. And there's hum in the pines. A moan almost. Many, well, everyone really see it as a bad sign. They say a forest won't shake for no reason. Nor will the trees hum like pylons. But as you see, 
uh, we couldn't take care less. We just go on with our lives. That's something that earned the forest its nickname. It doesn't bother us. If there is indeed some it or something, which frankly I doubt, it may just be Earth crust has just cracked somewhere down there. And these are just activities, seismic ones, volcanic activity. This is possible as well. One brainy kid told us that while he lived with us for a week, he was traveling student. But that's a whole different story. Also a worthy one, by the way. He sang such songs when he was wasted on local moonshine. They were really touching about young women, about education, certificates, about how their dean mutated. Oh, I even feel sad remembering it. I'm still missing him. He is he as good as became my son that week, yeah. Um let's go. I get talk talk. I I'm done with her. Let's go to talk to him. I'm sure he's got something else to say, right? A short, smiley man in a knitted hat is standing in front of you as he sees you. He chuckles slightly and slaps himself on the knees. This makes uh, his trousers covered in patches amid a small cloud of dust that sparkles in the night light. Just look at him. A traveler in a roaring forest. What a surprise. My name is Valeri. Nice to meet you and all that. Uh, likewise, my name is Basili. What was this name given to you at birth? I admit, you live up to your name. You're, set, you're a real Basili, both you and your parents and behavior. <laughs> Why do they call this forest roaring? Because these earth tremors happened in a certain pattern. Normally you don't even feel them, but occasionally you get a good shaking, although it's been a rare thing. Why do the tremors happen? There is plenty of various opinions about it, but I've got some of my own. Not far from my old missus and mine home, there's a very strange hole in the ground. I saw similar ones on other parts of the forest as well. I can say for sure because I have no. Pr I can't say for sure, but but it seems from to me that under these forests there live the various ones. God knows who. Let's change the subject. Um, go ahead, ask me. Okay. Aren't you scared, old man? Pencil, he scratches his beard and sighs. That depends, not really. There's one thing, though. Recently, a wolf pack came to our lands. Wolves, wild dogs, they wander in the wasteland, but they've never visited us before. Now, however, one such pack settled really close to us. Ah, uh, so maybe that's a quest that he would pay me for? Let's see. I haven't told this to my old missus yet, as I don't want to scare her, but I think that soon they'll be get brave enough to come after us. I'm too old to fear death, but if something, some strong man who happens to be passing by could deal with this bane, that would have been more than welcome. Uh, yeah, I, I'd love to. I'm just too weak to fight off that many wolves at once. Um, I'll say yes, because then it's a quest line. What do you have to offer? I don't want to, I don't need to ask. Yes, it would be cool. Uh, you think so? I, you, you look rather fit, muscular enough, although I think you'd better not risk it. If we're destined to be eaten by these wolves, so be it. One can't escape destiny. Don't get ready for your own funeral just yet, old man. I'll see what I can do about your problem. Um, let's take, let's better take our minds off and change the subject. Okay. What was that? I don't remember what I asked. We've got a nice forest, basically. People are scared of it, they avoid it, but I authoritatively state that this is a good place. It's quiet, peaceful, and beautiful. Only rarely do different travelers and hunters wander in. Sometimes I think people set up camps here at night, although I have never seen them myself. The only thing I remember, it used to be greener before the war. It's sort of dried out now, as if someone's been stealing its fertile soils or chewing on the tree roots. Uh, okay, can I ask you something else? Let's hear the rumors. Okay, to be honest, I can't remember anything special, basically, but we're sort of cut off from the for from the outside world, as you can see, but can you can go ask my old missus, she loves a good ch chin whack. Okay, we're done here. So, you say there's something here. Ah, uh, here. Yes, I see, I see. Okay, and there's something here as well. Yes, let's do it. Yeah, Basili, Basili. 
I just gave him the Russian name like that the that it was generated in the beginning of the game. I didn't change it. Yeah, definitely save. Uh Examine the idol. The idol's head, so to speak, is adorned with something like an empix with a symbol card into it. Either of a sun or wheel, its hair and beard are done very thoroughly, down to the smallest detail. But most of all, you are drawn to the eyes of the wooden giant. They seem to be almost alive. The hands of the idol are clenched on the hands of a hammer whose veins rest on the face of the carved anvil. Perhaps there's something important, some important symbolism to it, or maybe the carver just let his imagination fly. One way or another, this is a rather impressive work. Despite the damage done by the elements, the idol still looks rather well. Knock. You knock on the surface of the idol with your knuckles. You even repeat this on the different sides of the idol just to, in case. Judging by the sound, there are no clandestine cavities in the idol or simply, or you simply failed to find carve an obscene word? Uh, I guess I could. Listen to your feelings. You close your eyes and carefully listen to your feelings. You can't really hear anything special. You feel the same way you always do. Besides, now you feel a bit hungry. Okay, that's interesting. How did you discover this? Because I don't see it. Um... Okay, I'll, I'll do what you say. Da, 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 da. Oh god. Sacrifice. <laughs> One point of luck. Oh, nice. My luck is, gra is bad. It's bad. One point of luck. Was that it? You take the meat. That's, that's it, I guess. Or is there something else to this? That's it. Well, that's cool. I would have never guessed. Like, how do you know this? I guess you kind of you read the guide. Oh, how do we get the? This might be impossible to get. Oh God! A strong built man in a cape comes toward you from the underwood. He keeps looking back, and so does notice you until you almost bump into each other. The man jumps with surprise and quickly steps back, threatening threateningly pointing the barrel of his massive rifle at you. Have you been here all all along? Have you been following me? You take a closer look at the man's weapon. Wow, that's an incredible, rare and very high quality rifle, the VSS, more commonly known as Vintores. You saw one of these at a shooting range once, but you didn't get a chance to fire it, unfortunately. The man notices you and he angrily spits on the ground and waves the barrel. He had, he's evidently rushing you to answer. Friend, what's sketch into you? I'm just going my way. Wait a minute, maybe it's you who's following me. No. Um, right, in the middle of the freaking damn forest. Just go away. Who, who are you trying to fool? Travelers never come here without a valid reason. I'm warning you. If you continue lying to me, I'll stuff you with bullets in a moment. Do you think I'm, I'll chicken out? Try me. But I do believe you. If you never come here, then what business do you have? I think you're come. I do believe you. Well, I don't believe you. You must have learned that I'm keeping my stash in this forest and... Oh boy. So maybe we can... We can... Uh, choose to listen to your feelings, you get a hunger feeling. Yeah, I did I did see that, but... At first I've laid down ten meat pieces. Oh, huh. Let's see. The man's eyes turn wide and he quickly shuts his mouth, realizing he just spilled the beans about his stash. So this is kind of whether I want to kill him and take his stash or 
basically. Well, well, spill the beans. Where did you bury your stash? Or I don't give a damn about. I've got my own business. Oh boy. <laughs> this is bad, right? Like, uh, the man coughs dryly and knits his brows together. It seems to you that in his mind there's a battle or of two simple ideas concerning you to just pass you by and forget about it or just to shoot you dead and forget about it interesting you have one of the best automatic weapons in the game yeah attack me and i'll guarantee that i'll send you to the world of pain speechcraft attack the man without wasting time i mean i like i could take his stuff but like if you think about it it's not in my character's nature like i'm not i'm not a bandit i'm not a bandit right i'm just a like i don't have to fight him success evidently your words were enough to calm the angry man he took he looks at you coldly but still lowers his rifle i'll just go my own way you know, I, I'm sure I could take him out with three versus one, but there's maybe he can help me later. Who knows? All right, I believe you. Although I'm most probably making a mistake. Go your own way and I'll go mine. I hope they never cross again. I hope they do. <laughs> so let's see what he's got here. You gained 11 experience. I tried to open the stash. So, see see what I mean? Save and try to attack him. Um, I, well, like you said, he has a really good weapon, right? And I don't, like, I don't want to be out of character too much. And I got his stash anyway. So, let's take it. Ooh, look at all these mushrooms. I'm rich, boys. So, this is great. I hope they regrow. You said they regrow, correct? Achievement unlocked. Crana, Grisbo. What does that even mean? That's a lot. Okay, so I I know where to find a lot of mushrooms. I think that's done. That's done. Let's see if I can, if there's something here. Okay, that's done. Kind of losing my track. Okay, I've been here. And this is the way to the wolves. And I need to go there, but... I think... I'll try to fight them. I need to wait for my, for my team. They're so slow compared to me. How is that? It's okay. Yeah, I need to... You're right. Da, da, da. Okay. But there's too many of them. There's four, and it's gonna be tough. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Alright, my dog went ahead, and I have already 
f all of them on top of me, almost. Oh. And I missed. Already bad start. Nice. 13 damage. Oh, he killed him. Nice. This is good. Oh, he killed another one. Okay, this is gonna be easy, guys. Easy. I jammed. No problem, no problem. This is gonna be really easy. Maybe I can handle wolves in the cave. Maybe. Oh, for God's sake, I, I shot my friend. I shot him again. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. They shot him twice in the ass. <laughs> sake Fidel my my friend I, I'm so sorry okay let's take that oh no nothing good easy see I told you do a campfire or do I have to go all the way back there do, is there another one down here because I'm hungry and I don't know if I oh there's no campfire okay you're right I think that's the campfire Where is the campfire? It's hard to say what's on the map. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I did. Didn't I loot the wolves? I did. the wolves the uh your face is just glowing come on spill the beans what is the uh, this awesome thing yes you're amazing great job wow this means i should thank you somehow you just wait here for a moment we're not really rich but for obvious reasons we can offer you various forest products he motions to you to wait and followed by a surprised look from his wife he rushes into his wake up after rummaging there for a couple minutes the old man valerie gets out with a content look on his face and grunting goes back to you in his hands he's holding a small parcel there you go fighter there's plenty of plenty of good stuff you could use in the, use these or sell them thank you the old man places a parcel um, in your hands and nods i guess we weren't destined to die from the walls after all um it's barter i want to see if he has something cool Blah, blah, blah. Newspaper, always, you're right. More 
trees, more logs. Level up. Did I level? Oh, nice. All right. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, tinkering is critical for me. Very good. Um, I guess... Um, cost of reload is lowered. Does that even... Should I bother with that? First, you need to launch again. What, what would you get? Like, um, I t this is the last one. Oh, I didn't get this yet. Totally. Okay, I definitely do need this. Yeah, I thought I had that already. Okay, so now I'm ready. Did I? Did anybody else level? No. Yeah, that's really good. Oh, I'm I'm too in, I'm over encumbered. of stuff do you think I should go and stash it all because there's like so much fish and salt I don't have uh, you to make salted fish okay I think I'm sure I got these um. Ooh. I don't remember doing going here Oh, is this the entrance? Yeah, this must be where I killed the... Let's go back to the wolves to just double check them because I, I thought I, I'm sure I got them, but uh, I have a lot of stuff on me right now. I want to, uh, I want to kind of put away somewhere, but I have no idea where. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's very cool. I now I'm a lot stronger. One big bad monster. <laughs> uh oh.
Earth, and, and the Earth mount is towering in front of me. There's a scary looking black hole um, in the middle. A tr fallen tree that lies across the entrance to the underworld could help you with the descent. That is, if you have a spare rope, listen to the sounds coming out of the hole. For at first, it seems like the, the not a sound is coming out of the hole, although if you listen really attentively, then you can hear distant rustling and creaking. I don't know if I have a second rope. Do I need a second rope? Uh, throw a stone. Um, the smell of wet ground is coming out of the hole's depth, although the smell is accompanied by an barely noticeable sickly sweet one. Usually if it's rotten flesh that smells like that. Oh. Step away. I I'm, don't know if I have it with me. I I know I have it at my stash, but... Oh yeah, I guess I do have it here. Yeah, I do. See. You get a coil of rope and tie it. Listen to the sounds descend. You pick up a small stone from the ground and throw it into the hole. Quite soon you hear it land on the stony floor of the underground. The hole is clearly no more than three meters deep, however. It would be really careless to jump in without a rope. Um, descend the rope. Down the rope. Okay. You spit on the palms of your hands and begin to carefully descend. Suddenly you get a very unpleasant surprise. Perhaps your rope was rotten or you have underestimated the weight, but halfway down the rope snaps and you fall. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I hope I don't get too injured. Oh, yes. Um, and that's it for this episode, at least, and we'll, we'll continue on to the next.